I've come down to North Hinge Golf Course and today I'm going to show you a great little exercise to help work on the distance control of your putts. So what I'd like you to do first is I'm going to get you to take three golf balls and we're now going to walk out to our target hole ahead here. Now with each of these golf balls I'm going to get to the hole and I'm going to take two paces back from the hole. I'm going to put the first ball down and then I'm going to step another two paces back and pop the second ball down and again another two paces and put the third ball down. Now roughly speaking the, the pace is going to be around um, about three feet so with two paces we're six feet we're 12 feet and we're 18 feet away from the hole now what i'd like you to do is then walk up to the first ball what you may not see too clearly in the video but i've also got two club shafts down now are two clubs one is 18 inches uh, paddles about a foot and a half past the hole and that's straight across the back and the second club is lying about 18 inches again foot and a half short of the hole I'm looking to make sure that every putt I hit finishes between these two. Now, obviously with the, the first putt, the kind of six, seven foot putt, I'm hoping to, to hole this one. But if not, I need to make sure that it's sitting within a holeable distance uh, for my second putt. So when we're doing this, again, make it as realistic as possible. So as we would do on the golf course, we're going to set up, we're going to make a practice ring with putting. I tend to make two, so I'm back, I'm through, and I hold. Make sure, again, these slightly damp conditions that that putter face is clean and wiped clear of any grass cuttings before you move to the ball because that will really affect the contact to the golf ball. So I step into first ball. From there, I'm just going to rock my shoulders, put the first one, and in the hole. Okay, so now step back to the second ball. Now, obviously, slightly further away now. So my practice swing is going to have to be that little bit fuller. I'm not trying to hit with any more force i'm allowing the slightly longer swing to help the golf ball roll the extra distance that's required so i'm going to set up to the second putt now 12 feet away rolling forwards and just short okay so i'm just going to go up move that one away now what i would say when you miss ideally try not to miss short as i did there the one thing that's for certain in golf is that if the ball short of the hole it's not going in so ideally try and get the ball past the hole so i've now moved back to my furthest one so we're about 18 to 20 feet away again from here practice swing first again i'm going to make a second one so with each of these putts the distance is getting slightly further set up to ball this putt is just a set of right edge putt rock the shoulders get the ball rolling up Oh, I just missed on the on the left side there. But again, you can see that my golf ball is right next to the hole lengthwise. So had it been online, that one would have dropped in. So it's a great little exercise just to help you work on your distances. You can add more golf balls so if you've got a you know, larger putting green and you want to do some longer ones. But it helps both control the distance, but also for you to be able to, to, to feel and to vary just as you gradually step out there, the amount of more swing that is required for the longer putt. So hopefully this will help you putting. You can even do this at home if the weather conditions get bad, although your carpet may run a little bit quicker than the greens do just now. So hopefully this helps you. If you want to watch some more great videos to help you improve your game, if you head on over to my YouTube channel, uh, there's lots of great videos and I'll pop a link below in a newsletter to help you go and watch these too.